I know this is the first time I'm talking to you guys in this week's vlog, but I have good reasons. It's been really busy. <laughs> Holy moly, yesterday was, um, as you saw, just like a lot of chore stuff, getting ready for the work week. And today was a really hectic day in clinic and I actually have a lot of stuff that I need to get done tonight in preparation for tomorrow's clinic. I'm finally sitting down to study for today. <laughs> I know, it's like practically eight o'clock now. It's eight, not seven, which I thought it was when I sat down. I am excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Amboss, which is crazy to say. I have been using them since my first year of medical school. If you guys have been around that long, you know I've been using them forever and they are a resource, a great resource for test prep and just to learn everything that you can about medicine and I think it's really important for med students to have. So I used Amboss QBank to study for step one and I also am using it to study for step two. I already completed the QBank for step two but I'm going back for um, another round and I do 10 questions a day of Amboss just because I don't remember the questions at this point. It's been a while since I completed the QBank so I feel like I don't have any bias when I'm answering the questions and it's a great resource to learn from. I'm gonna start my 10 question set right now. I'll chat with you when I finish it. By the way, actually, let me just show you how I'm selecting this. I do the systems and I check them all, but I don't like doing biostats questions, so I uncheck that. And then for difficulty, um, I don't want to do this because this is like a really small percentage. 5% of these hard questions come up on the exam and I just don't want to know about it right now. And then I'm just going to do all of them that I've answered and I'm just going to do my 10 questions down here. And then let's get started. Okay, so for, look at this. This has so much information, it's crazy. So I got down to the idea that this patient has um, poots jaeger syndrome or Jaggers, I don't know how to say it. Um, so pancreatic car carcinoma it's associated with, but check it out. Like you can click all of this stuff. I can highlight over these words and they have all of this information. Um, to like learn about more stuff, you can click and look. I click on breast and it has like the whole anatomy, everything you wanna know about the breast, embryology, where it came from. You can click on Pootsy Jagger syndrome or Pootsy Jagger's, I don't know how to say it. And you can learn all about it, etiology, clinical features, diagnostics, prognosis, like this is crazy. There's so much information. This is a really great resource to figure out like to the core why you got something wrong and how to learn from it and learn everything about it that you need to know about that topic. That's why I find it so helpful compared to other resources where if you get something right or you get something wrong, there's just a brief up explanation and that's kind of it. And if if you if that like explanation isn't enough for you, you have to go out of your way and find like the explanation that you're actually looking for and the amount of information that you need. Amboss to me is like a Google for medical students. It's been super helpful in clinic, especially because doctors will ask you like, hey, Rachel, can you read up on this and give us a presentation? This happened literally like a hundred times since I've been on this rotation. The doc will text us in a group chat and then he'll just be like, um, Rachel, t tell us about this today. Immediately I go to Amboss because I can search whatever and it's there. I'm like rambling on. I absolutely love them as a resource, but um, I'm gonna finish this QBank and then we'll go from there. I have so much to do. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I finished my questions. I'm gonna take a quick shower. I just feel gross from today. I feel a hundred times better. Oh my gosh, I needed that. I just did a body shower. I'm gonna study a bit more and then make some dinner or heat up my dinner because I meal prepped this week, which you saw yesterday, which I just highly recommend. If you don't watch a task management video, please watch it because I talk about meal prepping a bit. Some of you want me to do like a video dedicated to meal prepping or like diet and purchasing food on a budget, but I am not a chef and I am not good at like variety and things that aren't bland. Here's dinner. 
pasta, and then some strawberries. What's up everybody? It is 1.50. Can you believe that? I have been off since around 12 o'clock or so. There was like a lot of stuff going on at the office today, but in terms of like patients insurance is switching. So we couldn't see a lot of patients today. I only saw like two or three or four this morning. Um, and I'm gonna eat the meal prep that I've been eating. I'm ex extremely hungry right now because um, I haven't eaten much today other than the little bagel. The doc wants me to do a presentation on osteoarthritis. I'm looking at Amboss stuff right now to um, learn about it, even though like I know about it, but not that in depth. I was actually looking it up on my phone because Amboss has two apps. They have the QBank app, and then they also have their like knowledge app. When he told me to make the presentation, I started looking it up at clinic and I just did it on my phone really quick. Um, so, and it's nice cause these apps, like I think this one is the one that runs without Wi-Fi. So like, or like internet. So if you don't have internet and you still need to look stuff up, that's really nice to have in hospitals. Sometimes you don't always get service. And so having your phone on you with your app open, like you can find everything that you need. This dishwasher soap, the Cascade, it smells so good. It's probably not good that I smelled it, but like that smells so good. If I could eat this, I 100% would. I think I have an issue. Hello, I took a 20 minute nap. I set a timer on my phone for 20 minutes, took a nice nap. I really needed it. And I feel so much better now that I took the time to do that. I have a lot of motivation to study right now. So I wanna take advantage of that because I truly have not been motivated to study for the last few weeks. And I think that I should take advantage of this. Good morning everyone, what's up? It is Thursday, I don't have clinic today. I have to go to a mask fitting at school for fittings for the N95 that we wear um, in the hospital. Just finished the mask fitting, I got my N95. I haven't been on campus in so long. <laughs> my roommate is making yeah, a gourmet meal. <laughs> Water to boil. <laughs> it's like Shelly, I'm gonna cook for you. And then he comes home with all these groceries. <laughs> Let's just say I'm not eating the pasta. <laughs> no. Bone apple tea, Shelly. Let's see your aim. Play <laughs> on. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> it's perfect. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> There's Shelly. Yes. Yeah. That was really unexpected, but really nice to just like be with everyone downstairs and to cook together. Um, even though my cooking was put to shame by my roommate's amazing meal, it was incredible. And I really enjoyed the pasta that I made. It was really good. Like, although it, it didn't take much work, it was really tasty. I'm very excited to eat that at some point again. Going to get in bed and I'll chat with you guys in the morning. <laughs> Hi, what's up? How's it going? It's a new day. It's a great morning. I've been studying all morning. I wanted to give you a hug. Let's lean in. Come, come, come. Hug. Nice hug. Haven't given you guys a hug in a long time. I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate all of you for sticking with me and supporting me through all of the ups and downs of my life. And being able to share my journey with you is like the absolute honor. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Just had to tell you because I feel like I don't tell you enough. I have been studying all morning. I enjoyed a coffee and a croissant this morning. So good. My room has like the perfect vibe right now for motivation and studying, which is so good because I've been waiting for this kick for so long. I have not been motivated to study. And finally, it's been happening. Like the last week, I think finally there's a fire lit under my butt to study harder for my boards, which are in oh, a month from tomorrow. I can't even say that. We're not talking about it. 
Yeah, I'm getting ready to study for the rest of the day. I'm gonna send off some of my motivation to you so you can be motivated too. I wanted to thank Amboss for sponsoring today's video. Incredible resource. I'll have all the details down below in the description box. Perfect for board studying because of the question bank and then their whole archive of information. Really great for your clinical rotations as well. And then also just to supplement with your actual medical school lectures. Check them out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Everything will be down below for you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time time. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Continue to work hard and all the good stuff. Okay. Bye. Another hug. <laughs>